Part A for four marks, there's six marks altogether. Part A for four marks, use Gaussian elimination on the system of equations to give an expression for Z in terms of lambda. So just create your augmented matrix first of all. So that would be one, two, negative one, negative three. 4, negative 2, 3, 11, just be careful with your numbers, 3, 1, which might need more space here, because that's going to expand since it can't gather up, it's not like a piece of arithmetic. Now I'm just going to actually make a matrix, I imagine a few just leave the numbers lying about. So there's the first part, right, what can that be transformed into with elementary row operations? Well, it's already got the one with one on top. If that hadn't have been there, I'd have reshuffled my equations to put the one with one on top if there was one on top there. So I would. Now, to get this to a zero, I'm going to take row two, this row two that is, and take away four lots of row one. I know it should really say row two goes to row two minus four row one, but I'll just put that down. So that means I've got four take away four is zero. I've got negative two, take away 8 is going to be negative 10. I've got 3, take away a negative 4, I'll put it up to 7. And I've got an 11, but plus a 12 makes it 23. The sort of numbers you don't really want to see. And for this one, to get this to 0, I'll take away 3 of the top row. So I'll be 3, take away 3 is 0. 1, take away 6, will be negative 5. And of course, I can't do much with this one. It's going to be 2 lambda, but plus 3. That's why you needed more room. And that's going to be 8, but plus again, plus 9. So that gives you a 17. You don't like a look at those numbers at all. But those two are quite, quite useful. So I'm not going to change these ones. And for the final one, I'm going to take two of the bottom, two of row 3, and add on row 2. Well, that's what I would do if I wanted to get it wrong, because I've got the same sign. And subtract row 2. So that stays as a 0. So I've got negative 10, take away a negative 10 is 0. I'll have 4 plus 4 lambda plus 6, but take away a, a 7 means I've got 4 lambda minus 1 overall. And this one gets a bit messier. I'll have 2 of them, which is 34. 34 take away 23 is 11. And now finally I can say, so what's the value of z that comes out of this? I'll just put it over here. Well, 4 lambda minus 1 times z is equal to 11, which means that z is equal to 11 over 4 lambda minus 1. Not the nicest looking of expressions that you hope to get when you do your Gaussian, but that's what came out of it. Now, oh, there's a part two. That was actually a part one, so I'll just put it there. One, two, two. For what value of lambda is this system inconsistent? Well, it'd be inconsistent if you tried to work that out and you ended up dividing by zero. So you can just say that straight away. It's inconsistent if four lambda minus one is equal to zero. Or you could just take it from here. So that would say, if you've got 0 times something, you can get 0, but you can't get 0 times something giving you 11. So if 4 lambda minus 1 is 0, it's inconsistent, or you can just take it from the fact that that wouldn't work. So what's the value of lambda? It'll be take the 1 across and divide by 4, it's a quarter. Part B. Well, it's, only, it's only worth one mark, this. Determine the solution. That's only worth one mark. Determine this. That's terrible. Determine the solution of the system when lambda is negative two point five. That's really quite miserable. So, just pop it back in. I already know what z is. Z is going to be eleven over four times this. Well, that's negative ten minus one. So that's quite handy. Z is going to be negative one. Then I'm just going to step back up. So the second line said this negative 10y plus 7z, so plus 7 negative ones, made that 23. And that's where that 23 turns in quite handy, because when that negative 7 goes across, it makes it a 30. And the 30 divided by the negative 10 is negative 3. Now I can jump up to the top line. 
that says x plus spaces between them x plus 2 of my y minus 1 of my z should equal a negative 3 so that comes to a negative 5 which goes across as a plus 5 to give you overall 2 so there you go there's the solution to the system when lambda is negative 2.5 but I might even just put it down this way. 2, negative 3, negative 1.